Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Wednesday morning. Um, hope everyone's having a great day so far. Uh, it's Robert from On the Turntable. Uh, today, I just wanted to just give you a quick tour of, I guess, my stuff, what I listen to, and how I listen to it. And uh, as I said in earlier videos, I don't have a lot, but what I do have, I, I love, and my collection is growing, and it will continue to grow as long as I have the means to do it. I still have to eat, still pay rent, all that other stuff that you have to do <laughs> on a daily basis. But uh, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this. Um, it's going to be a, a fairly quick video, but um, I think my stuff's pretty good, and uh, it's not the best, and it's not the, the greatest. I don't like listening to the stuff loud. I'm more quality over quantity, I guess. Um, plus, I respect my neighbors down below. And uh, whether they respect me or not, that's a different story, but we, that's another topic for another day. But anyway, here goes. Uh, just give me a quick second while I turn this around, and uh, we'll get at it. So, this is kind of my wall of stuff. So this is a, maybe this light is on. It's about to glare. Oh, that's not going to work either. Let me turn that back on again. So this is a, uh, almost like a Waldo picture. It's a Beatles poster of Magical Mystery Tour of 100 Beatles songs. And uh, I've yet to find all of them. But... Um, kind of cool. I got that off of Amazon, I believe. And you've already seen this. It's my wall of some albums that I have. My Abbey Road. Lots of glare in there. My Abbey Road poster. And uh, more albums on the wall. I try and change these up every once in a while. This is uh, a cabinet that I got for 10 bucks from a neighbor. And uh, I took the back off so my turntable would fit in it. This is uh, my turntable here. It's an Akai uh, AP820 works really good. I had a Mitsubishi because the rest of my set is Mitsubishi um, linear turntable that uh, I bought the whole set off a friend of mine, uh, Ken, and uh, I really appreciate um, that purchase, but the linear turntable was just giving me problems. Uh, it would move, the motor would move back and forth, and sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't so I I still have it I just have it set aside and uh, um, I'm not sure whether it's the motor or whether there's I'm not sure what's wrong with it circuitry perhaps but uh, this one works just great for me uh, this is uh, my tuner and amplifier uh, Tuner is a Mitsubishi DAF76, and the amplifier is a DAU76 with equalizer. And got lots of power, works really great, and I'm quite happy with it for the size of area that I have to listen in. Uh, I do have the um, Mitsubishi disc player. I just don't have it connected. Um, it needs some TLC. Um, it's the DP uh, 107. But in its place, I have a a great player in a Sony 5 carousel um, Pulse CD player, which works amazingly um, 
the advantage of a uh, obviously a carousel is you can listen to one disc, you can listen to two, you can listen to five at the same time and probably listen to all day depending on the size of the CDs that you put in there. So that's the setup that I have. Underneath are some of my albums and uh, they're in no particular order unfortunately as organized as I feel I am I should keep these in better order but I'm always taking them out and putting them back in again and uh, I don't have the time to do so uh, that, so that's some of them there these are my sorry uh, my speakers uh, Quest uh, DC30s I've had these guys for forever um, they work really well I don't know if you can see that or not sorry let me lower the light okay. and uh, they're great sounding speakers the thing with speakers is like wine they get better over time because the cones soften and uh, and gives you a deeper sound another part of the stereo which I don't have I just use it to fill a space is a and the fact that I don't have any cassettes but I also have a Mitsubishi um, double cassette player the DT76 um, if I had some, I know you can find cassettes uh, in certain areas, I just don't have any. Eventually I'll probably hook it up and uh, play away. There's more albums down below. Again, in no particular order, but uh, there's some good stuff in there. Uh, the, the Quest also has a center channel and center speaker right now I'm just using that as my TV base <laughs> but I did have a, a surround sound at one point and uh, it's a really nice sounding center channel um, I'm right now I'm watching a stones documentary of mainly over in Rio South America but uh, there's Ronnie Wood that's the boys uh, my Sony um, my Sony soundbar and the bass for the soundbar down below and again more albums uh, this was a pretty cool find a while ago it's a uh, all kinds of burnt CDs discographies of a lot of uh, a lot of bands that I love and uh, I still play them they sound great whoops sorry I'll put that back later <laughs> uh, my lava lamp which I um, I just plugged in so it's not completely functioning right yet but it's uh, I play that I have that on most of the time uh, my Android box I love it and hate it at the same time because it gives me grief sometimes but then uh, it's my collection of CDs so I have one CD rack here not quite full but getting there and have another rack of CDs over here and I try and keep these in fairly organized order there's the Beatles, Steely Dan, um, Dire Straits they're all in, 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 in fairly decent order uh, more albums down below And this is a, an old style 
even though it's new or an old style uh, radio uh, CD cassette Bluetooth turntable uh, I use it uh, for my Bluetooth from my phone um, it doesn't have the I wish I had more bass but it's a pretty decent sounding uh, little uh, little player when I don't want to turn my my main stereo on and uh, there's Mick there Mick and the boys it's a great documentary I love uh, I watch a ton of documentaries about bands um, and uh, that is my setup sorry So that's just a quick look at my at my setup. Um, it does what I needed to do. As I said, it's not the most uh, expensive or elaborate or loudest system in the world, and uh, but it just does everything I needed to do, and it sounds really good, and I'm happy with it. As I said, my speakers I've had for years and years, and they're just at the point where they're just, they've broken in and really sound good. So if you ever get a new set of speakers, uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, they're going to be tight for a while. Like, they're going to be tight for a couple of years, probably. But as you play them and as you as you uh, uh, keep on playing them, and that, those cones are going to soften and that's what's going to give you the rich tones of a speaker and uh, it does take a while but uh, uh, they will sound good and uh, I and that's what I found with these guys um, Quest was uh, and still is I believe a Canadian company and uh, I got those at a future shop, which was an offshoot of Best Buy for those American viewers that uh, may be out there. But unfortunately, future shop was no more. I worked there for a time selling TVs and and uh, stereos. Loved it. It was a great fun job. But um, that's another life. But a great part of my past. Anyway, have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll coming. I'll come back to you again soon with another video on on the turntable have a great one bye bye